Uh, good morning, my name is Raul Villanueva. I'm the entomologist here in Princeton. Uh, today we are in a corn field planted late in 2020. So we planted this field um, a little bit more than three weeks ago. But uh, you can see that there's <coughs> the plants are still small. And during the last two weeks, uh, we have probably a very heavy absence of rains. So when we have a, this uh, drought, especially in small plants, we have some uh, insects that start to become abundant. And these, in some cases, are secondary uh, pests. And in this field, we have uh, two pests that become uh, relatively present. One was the corn thrips, and the other was cornfield beetles. So these insects uh, probably, in most of the cases for corn don't require insecticide seed treatment, although they can cause some issues. Um, for example, <coughs> uh, the corn flea beetle can transmit a disease, um, a bacterial, a bacterial wilt, and, and that can kill plants and it, it, uh, it can reduce yields. So in this case, for example, I'm going to show you some plants that uh, were from the same period this received several, several, uh, different insecticide seed treatment, but one was more affected than the other ones. So, um, again, for in these cases, what's uh, left is to do some scouting for thrips and also for um, corn flea beetles. So, scouting for thrips, you need to use some magnification lenses because are, these are very tiny insects. And um, for, for beetles, uh, you can scout uh, at least 20 plants per field and then repeat this, this tally and then do the average for this, for this uh, counting for, for if you want to do some application of pesticides. 